Hello everyone. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to find contacts by using our school library here. So, that so you'll need to go into the Art Institute library. And when you access it, you'll come up on this page and then you want to go to Flipster Digital Magazines, okay? And so two of the resources that I would recommend that you use for this assignment uh, because they're readily available is is within these is within Flipster here. And so I'm going to go to Art and Design and one of them is Communication Arts, okay? Now, if you carefully read over the resources, it tells you that you need to go to all issues and look for the May June. And this May June issue, if we open it up and look at it, takes a second. This is the illustration annual, okay? And so what you would do is if you're looking to find a contact, someone who would use, um, that would hire illustration that is similar to your work, then you would go and look through this, and we'll go to all pages here, and we're going to scroll down to where uh, the, the annual actually begins, which is, let's see here, there's, there's some articles here, and there here, here's the illustration annual, okay? And so what you need to do is you need to take a look at the companies that hire these things, and plus you got to also, you know, communication arts is worldwide, so some of these companies, like this one's in Warsaw, and um, the art director, and so so basically this is what was entered, and basically you know you're looking for an art director's name, and this guy right here is the art director, this person, and this is the company name, okay. It's a brand uh, brand reforming company, so you would look that up. And the design firm is uh, Woodker, SP Zoo. <laughs> so I mean, th this is something that, you know. I'm not totally familiar with this company, and so I'm going to go look for some other companies. But this is something you should look at if you could speak the language. Okay. Um, so here's one in Amsterdam. Now let's continue on here because there, I've been, I went through this annual before here, uh, looking for companies that that I could point out, and yeah, you could use a Cincinnati Opera, and I'm not saying you can't, uh, but I'm going to be looking for advertising companies if possible in this list, and this is a good example right here, number two. Let's let's zoom out here. So so number two, if we're looking at the artwork. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty graphic. I like it. Uh, the only problem is, is that this person is an illustrator and an art director. So every time I've seen his work, um, it's had illustration, but he doesn't hire illustrators. He actually uh, creates the artwork himself, okay? So he never hires an illustrator. And I've seen his work for decades, okay? Now here's BBC Studio Creative. I would say they're that is definitely in Great Britain. So let's just kind of go through here. And here's another company I can't pronounce, uh, and it's just my ignorance of the language. But let's continue on. Um, Abramus Client, okay, producer. I, we're not seeing a company. We're seeing a client. So we want to continue on until we see a company with a client. Um, this one I'm actually going to look up myself, but the Criterion Collection is not an ad agency, uh, and you might want to look at them up yourself, but basically they they produce uh, DVD, uh, actually Blu-rays now, and they they release these special collections of different movies, and their artwork is always beautiful. I have a whole book on the Criterion Collection. Um, all of their artwork, and I've have I have some of their DVDs, and so they are their Blu-rays, I should say, because some of them are DVDs, and now they release Blu-rays. But let's continue on here. Uh, this one I looked up, and it was interesting because it was so hard to find this company because when I typed in Lip Design Firm, um, I came up with 
pictures of lipstick and lips, okay? Uh, so I'm going to continue on through here. And like I said, this just takes a while to go through through this. Uh, this is for a book publisher, actually, if you're looking for a book publisher. Uh, you know, and that, that's fine because you, know, you can look for book publishers, you can look for ad agencies. But since we're in the ad agency list, I thought it would be good to look for an ad agency we could actually go to. Okay, so th this one I came across. And so this is the artwork that was produced by Courtney Carter Greer. What we're looking for is the person that would have hired her and worked with her and that person would potentially hire uh, you, okay? So Ty Matson is the creative director, okay? And Matson Creative, so he owns his own company, okay? And I actually looked him up, and we'll go over here, and I thought this was interesting. So, so he produces some beautiful stuff here. Anyway, I'm gonna go up here and let's go to the about here. And I actually added him onto my to my list here. So it's a uh, Matson Creative is a branding agency specializing in illustrative design for the entertainment and licensed consumer product industry. Okay, and so he's a designer. He hires a lot of illustrators, and he works with all these different companies. And if you want to contact him through email. You know, I mean, this is, you would have to click on this, and this opens up my own personal email on my thing. And so, normally I would say stay away from where you got info at, at whatever blank company, but this person runs the company, and he, he's the person you would want to get in touch with. I actually had added him to my contact list, okay, um, because I would like to send stuff to him. Um, anyway, let me cancel out of that, or don't say that. Uh, so anyway, you know, you can't find the email any other way, so it's going to open up an email um, application on your computer to find an email. Now, you can find email or you can find a, a, a street address, depending, uh, and I would, you know, I would find both if possible, uh, just depending on what you're trying to find, but it's hard to find this stuff, okay? It really is in some cases, and so you've got to know what you're looking for. So let's continue on here. I can go through here a little bit more. Um, the, oh, Ogilvy, Canada. So this one right here. Let's look at this one. This is kind of crazy artwork here. I, <laughs> I like that with the guy getting hit. Looks like he's getting hit in the head with something here. So <laughs> it looks like it looks like they're all getting hit in the head with something. Um, if that's interesting, it must be some kind of beer or something. It's an IPA. Yes, it's, it's beer definitely. So anyway, let's look at this person here. So I cannot pronounce their name. I'm not even going to try. But that's the illustrator and designer. But this is the person, the art director, okay? So obviously, and they work for Ogilvy, okay? And so if we're looking them up, we would go into LinkedIn, okay? And, or you can go and try to go for Ogilvy Canada Ad Agency. And so let's open up a new window for a second here. We'll Google Ogilvy if I spell it right. Okay. Oh, I didn't spell Canada right, but there it is right there. And we'll go to their company's website. Okay, so I'd heard of them before. And let's see, you can always take a look at other work they have produced. And that's something that's important to do is to go through and look at these company websites, especially if you – well, if you're not looking – if you're finding your, your – uh, your contacts outside of, and I'm just clicking on some of these things, outside of uh, finding it in a magazine or a book, you won't know what their artwork is like, okay? You won't know what is what kind of stuff they do. So you have to go to their website and just see, you know, what kind of stuff they do. But it's always good to go in and see other things they have may have done. And so anyway, um, let's go over here for a second and go for that's their work our clients, careers, and contact. And so basically, yeah, here we go. So so this is their street address. And along with that, you could contact this person right here, Antonio D 
Dasseville, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that would be the name of the contact. The name of the company would be Ogilvy Canada. And here would be their street address. And it's always good to get a phone number too, okay? Um, they've got, actually got two, two uh, three places to get contacts from. So you might want to write them all down, all these addresses, okay? Um, so anyway, that's that's how we would find one for for a book company and uh, for for ad agency. And so as you go through here, you can look for more companies this is interesting right here I'm just, I didn't look this one up but this is something you need to do and we're going to get into um, oh I'm going to have to look up this one right here all right so anyway as I'm going over this I just noticed that this person right here that this artist is a local Atlanta illustrator he's he has been a successful professional illustrator for decades and um, anyway um, I've, I have followed him. I've met him. His name's Bill Mayer. So we're looking at an ad agency, Batter Rooter. Never heard of them, but let's take a look and see if we can find them. We'll Google them first, and then we'll go into. Well, actually, you know what? Let's look, use LinkedIn. Let's use LinkedIn because LinkedIn is so important to find things, too. Okay, because that's another. You know, if you can't find it through Google, I would go to LinkedIn. So let me pull my LinkedIn page out here. This was another person I found while I was preparing for this uh, video here. Okay, this little tutorial. Uh, so anyway, let's let's go over here and see, commu back to communication arts. This is what gets to be hard here. It's all these windows being open. So we're looking for uh, Bader Rooter. <laughs> that makes me laugh. All right. So B-A-D-E-R-R-U-T-T- we are, yeah, okay, marketing and advertising, see? So this is a company. Um, these are the people that work for the company. We scroll down here, okay? And we're looking for some of these people that are listed here. Here's a designer, we'd want to perhaps list them, uh, associate creative director, another creative director. So these would be a number, like like for this one company, okay? So first of all, we got to find an address for them. But all these people, I don't know if they're current or not. That's why it's always good to go into this. Or let's go to their website, okay? So, so actually, or let me see if I can find one of these people. Uh, they might be just staring me right in the face here, but I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, let me see here. Looking, looking. Ray, Grant Mortensen, Sean Hopper, and. I can't say, hey, yell out if you see these people because I won't be able to hear you because this is recording. So it's not like class, all right, where I'm scrolling through and looking for something. Um, okay, let me go down further and see if we can find any of these people. Now, the other thing is we could just type in their name, okay? And so that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in um, Sean, S-H-A-W-N. Um, Hopfer, so H O L P F E R, okay, and Executive Design Director at Beta Rooter, okay, all right. So here's their contact info, okay. He actually has a website, okay. So let's go to his website and see if he has another contact through there, because that's how I found. Uh, they, uh, Madsen Creative was going through um, LinkedIn, and I found it. I'm just looking through all their stuff for a second here because I like to look at their website first. So let's go into all right, recognition. Hello. Let's see, go hello. I started my career in Milwaukee. Da, 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 da. So let's see about where will we find how to contact him. So he's on LinkedIn. Maybe, maybe he doesn't. Recognition. Okay. All right. So of course it'll take you back to the LinkedIn page. But let's look up Bader Rooter the website. Okay. So let's see here if we can find. And I just had it up here. Okay. So. All right. So let's let's actually go and look on Google here. So I'm going to go up here on Google. Type in B A D E R R U T T E R. And here's a, here's their website. 
because we I did not find a way to contact him except through LinkedIn. And what you want to do is find some you want to either find an email or a street address because if you're actually trying to get in touch with people, you would want to be able to send it to them. So so anyway, um if you we got um they got two two addresses. And so you would want to put down both of these. Preferably, it's always good to put down one. But but the other thing, so we got Milwaukee and Chicago. So let's say we were trying to send something to Sean Hopper. So we're trying to figure out where is he? Is he in? Is he? Is there any information about where he may be, so that we don't have to send to both places? You know, um, I don't know. We'll go back to his website for a second. And this is what takes so long. Is is that it's so hard to find all the information you're needing. And so like we know his name, we know the company, we have two addresses for the company so we can put both those down and like if I w was sending a postcard to this person, I would right now I'd be sending it to two addresses uh just to make sure we'd get to him, okay? But really you want you want one if possible. So so that that's part of the problem with some of this is trying to find the people, trying to find uh, trying to find an email address can be very difficult sometimes. Um, but anyway, that this is one way to start finding people. We can go through this annual, and but I want to go to another annual in just a second here. I was just looking through here. Here's books. So so this is communic We're back in communication arts, by the way, because because I, I know I'm kind of popping everywhere. And I'm looking at these different uh, companies here. This one, I'm still looking for myself because I came across the company, and they do some beautiful books. And I looked them up on LinkedIn, and it says the company is Fine Arts and in Missouri, and then we look at the address here, and they're in Michigan. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly, like, I can I where they're located at, but anyway, let me go back here. Um, so, so this is, and we're looking at the artwork for this. So Tommy Arnold was the illustrator. We we don't want to put his name down, but Bill Schaefer is the art director for Subterranean. So I would like to send stuff to them. So I might have to just send postcards. Okay. So Bill Schaefer, I'd have to write down, and then I would go in back to Subterranean Press, and I would send it here. It's a P.O. box, but you're, I'm hoping that he would be there, okay? And so, you know, so I would have a name, I would have an address, address, but I don't have a phone number. So, like, if you're, you know, if there's a way to find a phone number, we, we could do that. We can also just maybe email them to see if they're a phone number. But when you're putting together a contact list, it's, it's important to get down a few things. One is we want the name of the company. Two is we want it, the URL, the, the, the address, the, the web address, okay? So that, you know, we can look at that later on if ever because sometimes it, when you start building a list and then you go back to it later, it's hard to remember. And I had this problem when I was making my own list years ago. Um, the one thing I would also do is, like I used to go to the libraries, I used to go to the public libraries, I used to go to the university libraries, and I would look through all their magazines and find magazines that would use illustration. And the deal was is that um, I, I would be sitting there for hours looking through all this stuff, and I'd find a few contacts. And I was able, But at one point, I was marketing two styles. This is the point I was going to get to, and that is I had a painting style and I had a line art style that I would you know, kind of a cartoonish line art stuff that I did in Illustrator, and I wrote down all these companies, and I didn't write down what type of art they used, so I didn't know what to send to them. You know, so so that's key when you're if you're out somewhere looking at a library, because that's another way to go about looking for contacts is going to our school library, looking through maybe the Spectrum Manual there, if you know, if you can get in the library. Uh, the other thing is, is, and I say that now because we're going through COVID, but this this tutorial may be up longer. I might use it again uh, in the future. Anyway, um, 
any if you're going to to a bookstore, let's say go to Barnes and Nobles, and you're looking through all their magazines, you're finding magazines that use illustration. Then you want to write down the art director, and you want to look in the masthead, by the way, to find the art director, and then you want to try to find an address. And the thing is, is that you should write if you if you've got multiple styles, because it's okay to have more than one style. Although you, you, when you're trying to market to somebody, when you're trying to send them stuff to them, you want to send them one distinct style so they know what they can expect from you, okay? So anyway, uh, write down what that style is. And just, you know, that's something I used to re I have required on the contact list before is what kind of style? Is it cartoony? Is it painterly? Is it realistic? You know, kind of, is it very graphic? So anyway, let me continue on here. So this, this tutorial is going to last a little longer than I expected. Um, and I have opened up um, this in multiple windows, this uh, communication arts. And the reason why I'm doing going to this is because if you go, now this is for 2020. We can go to May, June 2019 and look through that annual, okay? And I actually have the physical annual because I bought it at Barnes & Noble's. So let's go through here. Let's go through the pages, and you would go down to. Oops, does it have the illustration in it? Oh, we gotta go back to all issues. Okay. Yeah, this this is problems with with uh, getting through <laughs> through Flipster. Okay. So we want to go to this annual right here, and then we want to view it. Okay. Now now this will open up another window. It takes a second here to load up. So you can have multiple issues open at, uh, at the same time. And then we want to go to our pages, and we would g scroll down here until you see the opening page for, oh, I just passed it. Here it is. This is the illustration annual, okay? So we'd flip the page here, and therefore you would start finding contacts in here, okay? And... You know, you, you might have better luck with this annual versus the other. That's why I'm pointing this out to you, because what you're trying to do is find companies and find the people that work for those companies and find their addresses and make sure you try to get a phone number. And it doesn't have to be a personal phone number. It could just be the phone number to the company. But anyway, I want to go into another magazine here. I'm going to go back here to Flipster here. And there's another – So so when you're in Flipster – I'm in the art and design section, and there's only two pages of magazines. They don't have a lot of magazines for art and design at, for the art institutes, but they do have a couple here that for, you know, this one right here I've opened up before. This is 3x3 three three magazine. It's a weird magazine. It's more like a little book. And I, and I bought one at Barnes & Nobles. I think I bought the one two years ago. It's sitting on my bookshelves. Um, but anyway, they... they they're an annual also. They put out artwork. This is just taking a second to load. I might have to go to the oh, – okay. So so they have uh, other years. They, they come out annually. So so it's not like a magazine that comes out every month or every two months. Uh, this is an, an annual, and it's not in the book section. It's in the magazine section. It's weird if you're looking for the actual physical book. So anyway, let's go and look in this annual. And this annual is a little harder to read, so – Let's see here if we, unless we're already in the pages here. Okay, yeah, it's already in the pages. So, what makes this annual harder to read is, um, they don't put everything down here. Okay, so this is interesting. This is uh, I've seen this artist before, Rick Seelock, and so he worked for Renault Tahoe Magazine. So edible. Renault Tahoe Magazine. Well, I don't know, like, like I don't want to put down his name, and and because he's the illustrator, we're looking for the person who hired him, the art director, the designer, the creative director, whoever they have listed here. Okay, so let me go to. So this is the hard thing about dealing with three by three, is going in here, and then you have to go go to the pages, and then you have to scroll all the way down here. And so we're looking for Rick Seelock, by the way, in their index. And their index is hard to read like this. Um, I think I'm in the V's. We can scroll in here, but we're looking for, yeah, there's the S's. Can I see him without having to zoom in yet? 
I want to make sure I get on the right page. So it'll be all right here. Okay, so let's zoom in here. Oh, here we go. So the art director is Amanda Burden. Okay, so the client is Edible Reno Tahoe Magazine. So let's go and look that up. So so now we've got a, a, a name of a person to send stuff to. Okay, that's the contact. The company, and we can type in, well, we'll just do a Google search on the company. Like I said, LinkedIn is great. If you can't find something through Google, I'll, I'll go to LinkedIn. Okay, uh, so let me see here. This, this is, you know, I'm, yeah, okay, edible. Reno. Uh, sorry about my typing here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. It pops up here. So let's go here and look. And so we're looking for how to contact them. And I would scroll all the way down here. So now we have a, a, a street address to contact them by, okay? We don't want to subscribe to them. So they're located in Reno, Nevada. Okay, you want to get their full street address. So so in this case, ooh, Amanda at Edible. Ooh, she might be the one. Who knows? So you could try to use use her name. Amanda Burden, art director, okay? I don't know if that's the same Amanda that's listed here, Amanda Edible Tahoe, so contact details. Let's see if there's anything else about us, okay? Editor. Ah, yeah, yeah, so so she's, she, she kind of runs the whole show here, okay? In that, um, um, you know, she's the one to contact, and obviously she's the one that hired them, Rick Sealock, to do this. And so, yeah, that, that was her address. So there's a street address and an email address for for uh, this contact for Edible. And, and mind you, the company you'd write down would be Edible Reno Tahoe Magazine. You'd write down the street address. You'd get this here, okay? And, of course, you'd write down Amanda Burton, okay? So that's the third one. And then they got, and then you write down their phone number, and you take and you write and you also include this. So you need to type all, you know, like if this was what you were using. And I want you to go look for your own. This is just an example here. Uh, but 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 you know, students have a problem understanding how to do this until you finally have to look for work for yourself. You know, this is a this is something that I've trained, try to train my classes to do and. And some people just don't don't get it. They don't understand, like, okay, what are you doing when you're trying to get a contact here, okay? And so, you know, what I would suggest, like, think about this in that mo some, most of you here um, already have a fairly strong portfolio of work. What I, if I were you doing this assignment, what I would be doing is looking through these annuals, looking for artwork, that is similar to what you do, okay? And uh, this guy's really cool right here. I'm going to look up him, Scott Balmer. So, so that's self promotion. So he didn't work for a company, okay? Sorry about that, because obviously they must have a self promotion section here. National Public Radio, Deborah Lee. We could take take a look at that. So it's editorial. Uh, I'm just I'm just looking through here until I find something that I want to go do some research on, and I like I like that artwork of mine, but I'm just looking through here and seeing okay what we've got here. So that's a company in Munich, obviously. Let's see here, John Hendricks. Okay, here's a book publisher. All right, so so he worked. So this was a like a book cover and looks like maybe inside art but, and uh, John Hendricks is the illustrator we don't write his name down but but 
we got to go look for him in the in the um, in the index. So let's go all the way back down here. So we're gonna look for the H's. So you might want to open this up in two windows. All right. So let's see if we're with Murray. Let's go with the M's. So we gotta press this button. See, this is what this is really. It's a little easier if you're doing it by looking at physical books because you can just flip through quickly. Let's see here. Let me look here. Hendrix. H. I got the J's. Yeah, okay. So he's going to be somewhere around this page. There he is. All right. So, uh, our director is Chad Beck Beckerman, and it's Abrams Books for Young Readers. Okay. And so let's go look for Abrams books for young readers um, and see if we can find any more information on them, okay? Um, so we would go and look at, and I'm doing Google first. Okay, let's see here. Oh boy, they they definitely use a lot of art, don't they? Which is great. That's what you want, and they use a variety of styles, which is awesome. And the company. Let's see here. Okay, about Abrams Mission Careers Contact is what we want here. Okay, so they're located in New York, so they got a phone number, they got a street address. Okay. Now, to find that person, the art director, I don't know if you're going to find their specific email address, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Google, and I'm hoping I can find uh, Chad Beckerman, and not not Google, but LinkedIn. So let's go over to LinkedIn. I had LinkedIn up somewhere. <laughs> I've been doing this for over an hour now, and oh, there was a recording testing my sound. So I apologize that this is a little bit all over the place. Oh, by the way, this is agency access. I'll get back to that in just a second because I think it's good for you guys to see that too. Um, my LinkedIn is, I'm, I've got it up somewhere because I've opened up so many of these windows. I might just have to type in LinkedIn, go to one. Okay, there it is. All right. And we're looking for. Who was it? I can't. Chat. I think it was. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. I know his name was Beckerman. I think it's Chad. In Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, he he. Okay. So let's let's. See if we can go back here. Go back to Flipster for a second. Yeah, see, I've been looking for a little while now. Right, here we go. Yeah, Chad Beckerman. He's an art director. And it looks like this could be, yeah. And a lot of what I found is for a lot of these art directors that work at publishing companies, they do have their own websites. And I have found a couple of them and gotten their own email address. So so basically let's see here. Art direction design branding growing. So this is his personal site here and I'm, I'm unless he's moved on and started doing his own stuff okay so we got view work okay got about focusing on design directing illustri illustration and images for stories okay cool I'm now taking this expertise and starting my own oh so he started his own design agency so like if we were trying to get in touch with this guy we'd probably just go through him right here. Okay, so, so here here he is. Okay, so chadbex at gmail dot com. So so we probably wouldn't be sending stuff directly to the book publisher. 
Okay, so we would not not be using Abrams books for young readers because if we're trying to contact him, but we would be going through and and we'd put his name down, Chad Beckerman. We would use his personal studio here. His uh, let's see. You know, we would say, uh, yeah. So he just goes by Chad W. Beckerman. Uh, he's an art director. He does art director and design. But basically, we would need his name. We would need that and his Earl. And if we could find a phone number, that'd be great. But I don't think we're going to find a phone number for him. Okay. Um, but that's the thing that you've got to work on is trying to go through here and finding as much of the information as you can. Now, the way I'm doing this project, and let me go over here for just a second, and we'll get out of here, and I'll go back to Langerman, or not Langerman, but Agency Access for just a moment. And I apologize for this being all over the place, but you know, I was trying to get this organized to do a better video, but this is, you know, this takes a little while. So you might need to watch this a couple of times and I'll try to make make another video at some point about this because this is so key here. But this is going to be our assignment here. So so you, you, this will be uploaded. You, you you'll probably see it right under the video tutorial. Um, it, you will see it, not probably. But anyway, so for each contact, you need the name of the company. So we would put his name down. We would put his name down for the person to contact, and then we'd put his email address. We don't have a phone number, okay? And also, I am making you do types of illustration. I might take that out. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think it's good to do just for your sake. So, so like, you would type in what types of illustrations they would use, and he uses quite a bit there, okay? So, so let me see if I can go find him again. I've got so many of these things up, here, up open here. Back to his website. There we go. All right. So I mean, you could say his. He just well, you could say just children's books, perhaps, because that's really what what it looks like. You know, he does a lot of. All right. He's got a page that goes to that, which is not good. But anyway, uh, <laughs> design branding. But as you can see here, he uses you know. I, I would say if you if I was writing him down, I would say you know children's books. You know that's that would help me understand. And you, I could say line drawing too. But I mean, if you take a look at all this stuff, it is all children's book related in that style. And uh, just it's I think that would really do it. So that that was the one. This one right here was the one that we wanted to see here from the. The con of, yeah, so he had he had done this one here, but yeah, so let's see, it's kind of got a cartoon style to it. So this is actually a graphic novel kind of thing, like a children's book graphic novel. Interesting. So anyway, I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please email me, and we're trying to get you so that you can have ten ten contacts of your own. Okay, see, I like this right here for for myself because this is a little bit more my style with the silhouette and the nighttime and the buildings and stuff. So anyway, if I was going to contact, I would definitely maybe put him down as someone I'd want to contact, okay? But anyway, uh, I, before I before I end this tutorial, I want to get back to, because I was, I was going to end it, and I was going to mention this company right here is what I've, what I've been using, and I've actually been starting my own. Uh, I found these three people today. I'm making a list of them, and I'll probably add Chad Becker in here too in just a second. But the way agency access works is they have this huge database. And so if I was going to go and create a contact, let's see here. Yeah, okay, there we go. So let's say, and, and this is, you know, I paid for the service for the year. So if I was making a, a, a list here, what you, you know what I do is, if I'm gonna, I can make a list that has a contact list that has book publishers and graphic designers and ad agencies. I could do all those at once, or I can specialize. And like I've been really specializing in books. Okay, so 
So I'm going to just go through here quickly. Uh, hiring frequency. Company hires illustrators, okay? And then I would go down here to email and direct contact. They told me just do email only, but I found that some of these people at some of these companies, they have blocked or they do not receive email. So next I would go next on this, if this will work here. I've been up for a while. This has been up for a little while here. All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this. I might have to log back in here. All right. Oh, that's why. So I would pick North America. Now I can do next. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now, you know, if if these are book publishers, then I would want to look for the art director, okay? That's the main person I would want to be looking for, although the list will add more. And then I would look for, like, what types of books. And so my work goes more towards horror and mystery, some science fiction, some teen stuff, because I know enough about the different types of companies that are out there. I could maybe do children's books, okay? And then we would, I was, you know, because you, this is something you're going to need to be considering if you're going to freelance. And so it produces a list of companies here. And out of that list is 237 contacts, 106 companies, okay? And what I realized is after using this list for a little while was I really need to go in and take a look at the company themselves because some of these places were not producing anything that looked like books. Um, so I was very unhappy with that uh, when I was going making a list last year. So let me go back here. Oops, I'll tell you how. Uh, okay. So I was looking at this company right here just recently, Candlewick. And so they do definitely do children's books, okay? And... So I would go through and look at their catalog to see if any of the artwork is something that I could, you know, it's kind of dark, like my work, silhouettes, kind of, all right. And what I what I did was I went through and looked through all of these websites of all these different companies, and then I would choose them. And mind you, this has given me more than the art directors, given me the creative directors. So my list will include all those people. So this is how agency access works. And then they have actually an access email, and I've sent stuff off. These are my saved lists, and I make different lists that I use at different times or I update them, okay? And I can print the list if I'm doing um, mail. But anyway, let's go in here to access email. And they have a, a very rudimentary kind of email design. But then I I was ignoring this try the beta here. And this is what I've been sending out, okay? So this is one I just sent out this past week. So these are different some of the different uh, campaigns, email blasts. And so let's 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 look at this and see if we can actually see this. Here's some details preview. So this what this is what gets sent to the art directors, okay? And so I put together my work. These are some of the latest pieces I've been working on. I've been posting on my Instagram too. My summary I'm playing around with, and I write something very odd here, unusual. I don't write like I'm an award-winning illustrator. I like to write something a little bit more kind of like a story. So when day turns to night, my spirit awakens. I begin my nightly ritual of drawing and design the illustrations. While everyone is asleep, I compose images that fuel the dreams of restless souls. I live in the house with the lights stay on all night. Nocturnal creature stir. For there, you will find me working away on my new endeavor. Okay, and then they have my contact information. And by the way, so when this goes to them, and let's see if this this should work just like this. I have I have it set up so they can click and they can go to my website. Okay, and they can scroll through my website. So that's how that's how this works, and that's why I'm having you create a contact list so that you can actually begin pursuing work if you're ready, or you'll at least know what to do when you are when you graduate if you want to pursue this type of illustration, you know, because as I said before, you could work for a company, you could sell your products, or you can,
freelance, okay? So those are the three different ways you can make a living as an illustrator. So like I said, I'm going to add this person here to my list. So this will end our tutorial, and I hope this helps you. It's I'm all over the place in this, but, you know, it's just it's, it's difficult work, okay? And I'm only having you guys get ten companies, okay? And you want to list down every person that you can find in that company. So, anyways, I'm...